Good day and welcome to Dress Up VR. Wow, look at this ballroom. Makes me want to do a little dancing. Anyway, today is just a simple tutorial to help you get started with a virtual desktop setup and run on your computer to be able to stream wireless virtual reality. Yay! It works with a Quest, uh, Quest Pro, Pico 4, uh, Vive, you know, all those different headsets. So uh, let's get started and have some fun. Oh, my hat. Step number one, plug an Ethernet cable from your PC to your router or many problems exist. Cat 5 you're better. Now the next step is actually kind of easy. You just go on to the store that you got your headset on. So for instance, if I got a Quest 2, I'd go on to the Quest store and go purchase virtual desktop. If I got a Pico, I'd go on to the Pico store and purchase virtual desktop. If I got a Vive, I'd go on to Vive port to purchase virtual desktop. Do not purchase virtual desktop on Steam if you want it on your headset. It ain't gonna work. It's for wired headsets. Okay, thank you for that, Bob. The next step, you probably already guessed, is to launch virtual desktop. So let's do that. Launching virtual desktop. Open. You will be presented with a few things here. This is allowing permissions. Allow virtual desktop to record audio. Save my preference. If you don't do that, your microphone won't work. Next one is allowing virtual desktop to access photos and media on your device. Click allow. Okay, once you've allowed those permissions, you will be presented with this next screen right here, which I just took a screenshot for you here. It says, no computer found because we haven't finished setting it up yet. So it says to make your computer accessible, follow these steps. Download, wait, can I make it bigger? Can't make it bigger. Download and install the streamer app from virtualvrdesktop.net. And I'll leave a link in the description, probably. And then type in your username, whatever that might be, an Oculus username, a Pico username, a Viveport, really long username. And then you can access your computer. So let's do that. Let's go to a browser. All right, there's a browser right there. I actually don't like that browser, eh, but I'll use it. Click on Download Streamer App. Now this is for Windows on the top one. The bottom one is for Mac. If you have a compatible Mac system, you can't stream VR from a Mac, so don't bother. I mean, you could try, but it's not gonna be a great experience. So the other one is for Windows, and you have to have a computer that's capable of streaming VR. It's gotta be a VR-ready PC, high quality. All right, now once you've downloaded it, you'll see that little deal right there, Open File. Click on that and just start the setup process, just like any other setup process that you use on Windows. Anyway, just go down here, see a little arrow button right there. This is called a task, no, this is called a system tray, this little deal right here. See, that means I'm recording from OBS. Anyway, see that little guy? That's virtual desktop. Double click on that sucker, boom, there it is. All right, now, uh, type in your username. Pico, Oculus, Viveport, whatever you got, type it in, and then this will say save. It'll be down here somewhere, save. And then this part will be done, and then you will see a computer in your computers tab. Okay, now that you have that completed, you must now install Steam VR. To do so, open up Steam. Blink! Go to Steam VR in the store page. Scroll down to Play Now or Play Game or whatever they call it and download. It will take a while. Steam VR is kind of big. Be patient. If you have an Oculus Rift library, which you may have, download the Oculus Rift software. This guy right here. To do that, open up a browser. Bink. Start typing Oculus. 
download. Enter. Oculus setup. Look at that. Blink. And there you go. Download Oculus Rift software. Click on that and watch what it does. Bink. Oculus setup. Click on open file and it will begin the setup process. Then you can play Oculus Rift games and Steam VR games. Alrighty, now that all that hard stuff is done, now it's the easy part. Just click on your menu button, bink, just like that, and you'll see this, uh, your games tab, which will have all your games that you installed from Steam or Oculus. Oculus will be on top. Whoa, that's a lot of games. And then you have your environments. You can get some cool environments from this uh, virtual desktop developer. You've also got a computers tab. So everything, every computer you have a streamer on that you put in your Oculus username or Pico username or whatever will show right here. If you have any other questions, feel free to jump onto the virtual desktop discord. Those folks are real nice over there. They'll get you squared away in no time at all. In the meantime, happy gaming and wear something nice.